Hi everybody, it's Miss Winfield here, ready for today's English. So I'm so proud of all the amazing ideas that have been coming in from when you've been innovating your characters, your settings and the beginning of your story. I can't wait to see how those stories unfold. So we're going to rewind, okay, to the beginning of the tale, okay? So, so far we've innovated the beginning of the tale. Do you remember the changes that I made? So here's our original plot point. So remember, a plot point is a point in the story. It's an event that happened. So the first plot point, Little Red Riding Hood was walking through the forest to go and see Grandma. And the second plot point, she bumped into the big bad wolf. And then the third plot point, he asked her a question and he said, where are you going, little girl? Now, can you remember any of the changes that I made in my story? So you might need to rewind and think back to my innovative characters. So remember, I had little Percy Penguin. And I had the massive, mean mammoth. Right, so I'm going to move this and do it this way. So here's our rewind then. So Little Red Riding Hood was walking through the forest. Well, I didn't have Little Red Riding Hood. I had Little Percy Penguin. And Little Percy Penguin was walking through Antarctica. Can you remember who he was going to see? He wasn't going to see his grandma. He was going to see his friend. Well done. I wonder what animal that friend is. Now then, number two. On the way, little Percy Penguin bumped into something, but he didn't bump into a big bad wolf. Can you remember? What did he bump into? He bumped into the massive mean mammoth. So in my story, in my innovated version, and remember, innovate just means to tweak and change ideas to make a new idea. So you can see here I've tweaked Little Red Riding Hood into Little Percy Penguin, and I've tweaked the Big Bad Wolf into the massive mean mammoth. Okay. And then, finally, in the original story, the wolf asks Little Red Riding Hood, where are you going? OK, but we don't have a wolf and we don't have Little Red Riding Hood. We have Little Percy Penguin and the massive mean mammoth. And the massive mean mammoth says to Little Percy Penguin, where are you travelling to, Little Penguin? So that's our rewind, okay? That's my innovation so far. So what are we going to do today? We are going to innovate the middle of our story. So we're going to look at plot points four, five and six, okay? And we are going to practice some new learning so we can continue to innovate our version of the traditional tale. So by the end of this week, you will have your very own version of Little Red Riding Hood. You will have your innovative version. So now we're going to innovate the middle of the tale. So let's just look at the original plot points so far. Can you remember what's the wolf doing here? What's he doing? So he's just found out that Little Red Riding Hood is going to see Grandma. What's he doing? What's he planning? So he has got an idea, hasn't he? And he's planning what he's going to do next. So I'm going to innovate that. And I've got to remember that my baddie in my story is the massive mean mammoth. So when he's asked little Percy Penguin where he's going, the massive mean mammoth is going to get an idea. So I've just drawn a little light bulb above his head as if he's got a light bulb moment. He's got an idea of what he's going to do next. And you can see he's turned his body around because he was walking this way. But as soon as he found out little Percy Penguin was going this way, he's turned around. So I wonder what he's going to do next. 
Let's look at original plot point five. So in the original story, the wolf sneaks off to grandma's, okay, and knocks on the door and pretends to be Little Red Riding Hood. So let's see what I'm going to have in my innovative version. Here we go. So the massive mean mammoth has walked all the way to Sonny the Seal's habitat. And Sonny the Seal's got a nice smile on his face. I think he thinks he's going to be friendly. But we know that the massive mean mammoth is not friendly. OK, and he's gone there to his home. I wonder what's going to happen next. What do you think? And finally, the middle of our story, we know that the wolf goes into Grandma's house and he gobbles Grandma up. And you can see that he's put on Grandma's clothes, OK? So we're not going to gobble Grandma up because my story doesn't have a Grandma, but my story does have Sonny the Seal. OK, and the massive mean mammoth has gobbled up Sonny the Seal until all that was left was a pile of bones. Who do you think those bones belong to? Mm, I think they might have been Sonny the Seals and the massive mean mammoth has come along and eaten him. Who knows, we'll have to keep going to find out. So, they are my innovations, okay? They're the plot points that I've innovated and tweaked and changed. And now I would like you to do the same. So you can split your book into six parts and have your original points along the top. And if you can't remember those, then they are here. There we go. They're the three original plot points from the middle of the tale, and you're going to innovate them. Now, it's important, like I said yesterday, to keep the characters the same. Not the same as the original tale, but the same as the ones you've innovated. So, for example, if you have changed the big bad wolf into the mean octopus, for example, and I think Damien's got an octopus in his story, OK, that means that even in the middle of the story, you need to stick with the octopus. OK, so not changing the characters at every point. We only innovate them once and then we just tweak and change what's happening throughout. So whichever character you've chosen to be your baddie in your story, your villain, is the character that will focus in this scene. So, again, I'm really excited to see what you create because they are so creative and so imaginative. It is amazing. I love looking at them. We've had some princesses, some fruits, some sea creatures. It's been brilliant. I've seen some superheroes come in to save the day. So I can't wait to see the amazing ideas that you come up with for the middle of your story. See you later. Make sure you put on evidence me.